Greetings, fellow people and such peeps. Greetings, peeps. Um, today I'm actually going to do something kind of untraditional. Usually I'm just talking about myself and blah 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 blah. Today I'm actually going to talk about something that I saw in uh, SAIC's school newspaper, which is F News Magazine. It's an article called Waiting for the Punchline. Waiting for the Punchline. And basically what this is, is it says here, the subtitle, the possibility of a comics curriculum at SAIC. Um, I'm not going to go too much detail. Oh, by the way, this is by Catherine Daly. Um, very good writer, by the way. I actually enjoyed the article. And actually, I read this probably last Friday, and it was until now. I just happened to go on their website, and I saw that there was a link, and I'm like, I reread it again real quick. And I'm like, you know, I want to talk about this. Um, because I am now attending this school, and so far, I mean, you would, you would expect this school to be very traditional art, but the thing is, is this school is supposed to be um, a very experimental school in that you can do just about anything, which is great. And this school does offer a few classes on comic books and, you know, graphic novels and stuff like that. But honestly, there's not as much as I thought there would be. And that's the whole reason why I came here, mainly to tell you the truth, not just because, um, Honestly, to tell you the truth, I've never really considered myself an artist. I've always considered myself a cartoonist. And me to go back to school for art, which is a very strange thing, because I always thought if I were back, went back to school, it'd probably be for maybe writing, but mostly for theater, because that's what, I that's what I originally did when I went to ISU, was I was involved in the theater department. And I was thinking about doing a lot of performance art when I was here, uh, when I was coming to this school, but I thought, you know what? Because I just, you know, I just done a film, you know, earlier this year. But I'm like, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm an actor, but I'm not like a die-hard actor. And that was the other problem too, is that I'm not a die-hard artist. But I know that I'm a cartoonist, I've been doing it for over 10 years. Um, I know that I can do better, and that's why I came back to the art school, because I think that's something, when I started illustrating my most recent story, which you can see on my channel here, which is Tears of the Prophet, I still I think still have it on my homepage. That was part of my portfolio that I submitted to SAIC. Um, anyway. When I did that story, I actually enjoyed that story more than anything else, not just because of the writing, but mainly because I was doing these one-page panels for, with the text. And I really enjoy just doing those one-page panels. So my goal here at SIC is to go into illustration. And since I'm a cartoonist, I want to expand upon that. Obviously, I'm taking, you know, very basic classes. You know, I'm doing, you know, going to figure drawing. Never take, here's the thing. I've never taken any art classes at all in my entire life, other than the high school. So me coming here, I was expecting a lot more. I said before, because this is an experimental school. Anyway, basically this article is talking about that this school doesn't have enough, which is true. And the possibility is just that word, possibility of a comics curriculum. There's one um, notation in here about them interviewing a student who has taken a lot of the, the comics courses here and saying that they use the same book again and again and again, which is by Scott McCloud, which he has a, a book out, which is, I guess, been on the market for a long time and helping a lot of artists get into doing like their own work on graphic design. He's actually a cartoonist when he was in college himself. Anyway, I even went over to the school, um, to the Barnes & Noble, which uh, offers the uh, textbooks that are used at this school as well as DePaul, and there were a few interesting books that they were having some of the, the students actually purchase for the class, um, but not enough. And, you know, it's really hard, to tell you the truth, it's really hard, I think, to find really good books on teaching cartooning. I don't own Scott McCloud's book. I've thumbed through it, but since I've been doing this for 10 years, I've never really saw the purpose of getting his book at all. Anyway, my purpose of talking about this is that this school really does need to get their act together because guess what? Comic books are a huge, a monstrous part of American culture. Hello, have you been watching um, like the most, since at least since like 1989 with, you know, uh, Batman, with Tim Burton's Batman, comic book movies have just exploded. And guess what? This school is big on film too. Film, anything like that, that's all an art medium. Batman that just came out this summer was a major blockbuster hit. Even bigger than the first one that Christopher Nolan had done. It was monstrous. That is a great movie, by the way. Check it out if you get a chance. Even if you're not a comic book fan, um, you don't have to be. Because that is just a brilliant story. It's a brilliant, brilliant, you know, directed, uh, brilliantly acted, brilliant writing. It's just all in all a great piece of work. Um, and I would probably put that on the stage of, say, like Lord of the Rings. 
It's a good story. It's entertaining, it's exciting, well written. It's got everything, okay? Comic books are part of our culture. Superman. You say Superman, doesn't matter where you are in the world, okay? He's a huge icon. Batman is a huge icon. These, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm listing mainstream stuff, but guess what? Even underground indie stuff is huge. I, I would consider myself, uh, you know, an indie artist. There are a lot of students here who are interested in this topic, okay? This is monstrous, this is huge. And anyone who's, who's watching this, who, who even listens to me or even subscribes to my channel, if you have any kind of uh, background, any kind of comment on this, let me know. I think all schools, it doesn't matter what school you are at, I don't care where you are, even a community college should be offering something in the study of comic book history, literature. Comic books encompass so much. Writing, illustration, design. The list goes on and on and on. You can learn to do so much. Narrative, storytelling, it's all there. And cartooning just goes into so many different branches. If you want to be a children's illustrator, if you want to do storyboarding for television, for movies, you have to be an artist. You have to be a cartoonist of some sort. You have to have that kind of background. You have to be an artist. It's there. I go around me all, all around here, like any kind of advertisement uses illustrations, cartoons, TV commercials use cartoons, comic strips, whatever. It's huge. It's monstrous. We, this school, really needs to offer this, especially if they claim to be an experimental school. Monstrous. Get on the ball, guys. Make it happen. And I'm going to try to make it happen myself. I still have just started this. This is really not even my first full week here, but hopefully once I get settled, I'm actually going to try to start like maybe a comic um, group out here because there isn't one. There's nothing here. And there's everything else. Oh my gosh. There's a monstrous amount of things that I can join. But there's nothing for comics. That's something that needs to be addressed. And I'm glad that this article is doing that in the paper. I don't know how many people have actually read it or even paying attention to it. I went online. There were no comments about this article. I tried to comment myself, but I couldn't get online. I, I didn't want to worry about trying to get a password. So this is my comment. So anyone who sees this, this is my comment to this article. Anyway, read this story. Think about it. Look at the curriculums at your school and fight for it because it's very important. And it's not going to go away. It's a growing industry. It's been growing for decades, ever since its inception, you know, in American culture and history. Comic industry, there's a lot of money in it. Not to say that everybody makes a lot of money who are cartoonists, but there is a lot of money in it. Even if you're like just the owner of a comic store, a lot of money in it, a lot of merchandising, big business. It's very important. There we go, my two cents. A little bit more controversial than usual, but blah, blah, blah. Anyway, take care, everybody, and I will talk to everyone later.